And as y'all see, just turn the car off and shift the park. Bow. <laughs> just gotta give it a good guy starring. <laughs> like it's a uh, um like one of the se sequential transmissions, the sequential automatic transmissions, bro. Yeah. Yeah. What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, if you guys have been in tune with all of the vlogs, we are literally picking up from where we left off in yesterday's vlog. But today, you guys see the title, you see the thumbnail. Let's roll that intro and get straight into this banger. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lives All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it so yeah man as you guys see we got vader right here stock cam is going crazy right now you feel me soon to be actually chopping but stock cam sounds good for now with that awe but let's go ahead and get straight into the car man and get straight into this video because vader is like fixed but he's not fixed and let's talk about it. So basically, as you guys see, we do got the P3 gauge working in full functionality. We are reading E85. We got E62 in the car right now. The car want me to put my seatbelt on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on that red seatbelt. But anyway, like I said, we're running E62 in the car right now. So we are pumping E85. You guys knew I wasn't pumping E85 until I figured out all the bugs and issues. Got that flamethrower kit you know what I'm saying, put into my car by shorting it out. Um, so, the, the P3 gauge is working fine. The radio also works fine. You guys knew that got replaced. Now, the issue that I'm talking about that came back is the shift to park error message whenever I turn my car off. <sighs> Unfortunately, this means I have to replace the entire gear shifter. So, thankfully, as you guys can see, we just hit 36,000 miles and bumper to bumper ends at 36,000 miles. But since this shift to park function, um, error message was a ticket that was open prior to me going over the miles. I should be good as far as bumper to bumper goes. So they should be able to replace this under warranty. And I still have the power tank powertrain warranty from Chevy that lasts until 6,000 miles or I think three years, whichever one comes first. And you guys know I don't drive better like that, so we're not going to hit 60K for <laughs> a hot minute. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, man, the shift to park issue, um, like I told you guys in the previous video, this is just a you know hit or miss kind of thing with these cars, man. When you get the automatic 6th gen, it's it's literally hit or miss some cars get you know lucky and you never will see this error message and you never have to deal with this and then some cars are like me where you get the error message and you fix it and it comes back and it actually turns out to be the shifter now i did go underneath the car when this whole thing started at first just to see if the linkage that connects the transmission to the gear shifter was loose or damaged and i didn't see anything but however i did notice that there was a little bit of fluid um kind of like splashed around in the area of the shifter linkage and i know that i think it is a hydraulic setup but i don't see like a constant leak i'm not seeing a dripping or anything like that i just see like it's kind of like build up if you will so i cleaned it up and um i'm gonna get the car in the air and again and i'm gonna see if you know if it's covered again if it is then obviously we have a leak and we got to do something with that but as of right now it's looking like we're gonna have to replace this assembly right here and we should be good on the issues now also in the video that i dropped i want to say on monday um yeah it was on monday 
yesterday for me, but like two days ago for y'all when this video drops. Um, and I touched on doing the pull and my car kind of like slipped a little bit in one of the shifts. I've like kind of replayed that video for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of curious to see if swapping out this gear shifter fixes that issue as well. If it doesn't, my next step is actually gonna be to do a transmission flush on my car. Hopefully, you know, that helps out, you know, with the fluids and whatnot. And after doing the transmission flush, we'll see. I don't know, I'm not gonna replace the filter just yet. I'm just gonna do the fluid and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the car actually drives better and shows improvement prior to me even having to do that. Hopefully when we replace this shifter, it fixes the issue. But if not, that's gonna be my next move. I also wanna go to the track just to see how the car is actually performing during what and data log the car, send over the data logs to Christian and Brandon over at NRG and just see what they think. Hopefully, you know, we can pick it up in the data log. I'm pretty sure we can because you can record RPMs in the data log. So yeah, man, hopefully this is just something small like within the tune or within the gear shifters failure that's like, you know, easy to fix and it's not like the actual transmission slipping because you guys know if you've been here from when we had mamba or even when we had reaper man my 2017 mustang gt c-suite manual mt82 car and my 2015 from around 2ss automatic car um the transmission is just it's like opening a can of worms man and you know i really don't want to open up that can i can't lie to y'all especially not with this car just because i'm ready to throw the cam and throw some boost at this car and here chopping with the blow off valve going at idle like i just i, I need that i i need i need that i need to hear that so like yeah man i just yeah but it's okay, we're gonna keep good spirits, we're gonna keep our heads up, we're not even gonna like allow this to, you know, upset us or frustrate us. It is what it is. We're gonna take it and keep it pushing. It's that simple. We're gonna get it figured out. Vader is gonna be back a hundred percent. Um, I got some things I need to install in the car. Y'all stay tuned because I am gonna be installing the kill switch either this week or this weekend. That way I can take my car out more and like not have to worry about, you know coming back outside and that joint being gone at this point you feel me if you try to get in my car and the kill switch is on and car lock is on as soon as you like do whatever you got to do to get inside this joint i will be outside and like hey hey <laughs> hey y'all seen the movie bait car the show bait car hey vader about to be a bait car i can't lie to you i cannot lie to you the only thing is you ain't gonna be able to move this drink. <laughs> and I don't keep anything in my car anyway. So like, you just, hey, just stay away from this one. <laughs> I can't lie to you. But anyway, with all that being said, y'all, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, we're gonna be ordering this gear shifter today. Hopefully it's not on back order like everything else in the world. <laughs> and we can get it in within this week or a re reasonable amount of time and get it installed on the car and then just see if you know it's driving better or if it's still acting a little funky and we get it down to the track and see what we can do you know it is the eighth mile now it's not the quarter mile so even if the trans is damaged you know making a one pass or two in the eighth mile is not gonna hurt it for real for real any more than what it already is um just because it's such a shorter distance of a race but like i said man that's gonna wrap it up for today's vlog if you're new to the channel subscribe man turn on post notifications if you're already subscribed give this video a big thumbs up man drop the comments in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about what's going on with vader man if you guys are having this issue hopefully this these videos are helping you guys out to resolve them and uh yeah man i'm gonna go ahead and roll that outro i'll see you guys in the next one Peace. i don't even know if y'all can see my hand <laughs>